All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 3 equals 1. So I'm going to first start by taking the cube root on both sides. So I have the cube root of x to the power of 3, which is x, and the cube root of 1, which is simply equal to 1. So we already have one solution of x. Now, I'm going to get more solutions. So this time, I'm actually going to subtract 1 on both sides. So I get x to the power of 3 minus 1 is equal to 0. And if I have something in form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So in this case, this is going to equal x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1, which is equal to 0. And this gives me two equations. I get x minus 1 equals 0, and x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. So for x minus 1 equals 0, we get x equals 1, which we already got before. And for x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0, we can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 1, c is 1. So get x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus 1 minus 4 times 1 times 1 all over 2 times 1. This is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 3 over 2. And square root of negative 3, this is the same thing as the square root of 3 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know, the imaginary number i is equal to square root of negative 1. So I get the square root of 3i. So this is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 3i over 2. So these are actually our three solutions of x. We have x is equal to 1, x is equal to negative 1 plus the square root of 3i over 2, and x is equal to negative 1 minus the square root of 3i over 2. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of y is equal to 120. So at first glance, we can already tell that 2 to, 2 to the power of x is greater than 2 to the power of y, because 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of y is a positive number, meaning x is greater than y, because both of these have the same bases. So because we know that x is greater than y, we can say that x is equal to y plus some variable k. So now I'm going to replace x with y plus k. So now I have 2 to the power of y plus k minus 2 to the power of y is equal to 120. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of y plus k, that's going to equal 2 to the power of y times 2 to the power of k minus 2 to the power of y is equal to 120. Now, if I factor out 2 to the power of y, I get 2 to the power of y times 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 120. Now, 120, this is the same thing as 8 times 15. And notice how we have an even number, 2 to the power of any number is even, times an odd number, because an even number minus 1 is going to be odd is equal to an even number times an odd number, meaning these two even numbers are equal to each other and these two odd numbers are equal to each other. So we have two to the power of y is equal to eight and two to the power of k minus one is equal to 15. So let's first off, start off by solving two to the power of y equals eight. 
Well, we obviously know that y is equal to 3 because 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8. Now for 2 to the power of, or sorry, this is actually 2 to the power of k minus 1. Negative 1 is not part of the exponent. So I'm going to start off by adding 1 on both sides. So I get 2 to the power of k is equal to 16, meaning k is equal to 4. Now, remember how we set x equals y plus k, and k is 4, y is 3, meaning x is 7. So now to check, my original equation was 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of y equals 120. So we know that x is 7 and y is 3. 2 to the power of 7 is 128, minus 2 to the power of 3 is 8, so I get 120 is equal to 120. Alright, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of y equals 7. So I'm going to first rewrite this as 2 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of y is equal to 2 squared plus 3. Now I'm going to subtract 2 squared on both sides and add 3y on both sides. So now I have 2 to the power of x minus 2 squared is equal to 3 to the power of y plus 3. Now if I factor out 2 squared from here, I get 2 squared times 2 to the power of x minus 2 minus 1 is equal to three to the three times three to the power of y minus one plus one. Now notice how I have an even number times an odd number is equal to an odd number times an even number. Meaning I can make the two even numbers equal to each other and the two odd numbers equal to each other. So I have 2 squared is equal to 3 to the power of y minus 1 plus 1. And I also have 3 is equal to 2 to the power of x minus 2 minus 1. So to start, I have 4 is equal to 3 to the power of y minus 1 plus 1. So this is the same thing as 3 is equal to 3 to the power of y minus 1 meaning y is equal to 2. And for this, I have 3 equals 2 to the power of x minus 2 minus 1. I get 4 is equal to 2 to the power of x minus 2, meaning x is equal to 4. Now, I'm going to go ahead and check to see if these two are right. So my original equation was 2 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of y equals 7. So now we know that x equals 4, so I have 2 to the power of 4 minus 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 7. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. 2 squared is 9. 16 minus 9 is 7, so I get 7 is equal to 7. And because this is right, my solution is right.